Good morning. Welcome to the Curtis Heritage Education Center, where we use the past to inspire the future. Time for a little breakfast. Anyone for bacon? Today we're going to be learning about an 1860s vintage sheep herders wagon that was developed in Wyoming as a means for sheep herders to be able to move all of their belongings with the sheep because the sheep would move daily or every couple of days to a different grazing spot and the sheep herder who generally was alone needed to be able to move all his belongings with him so this was a fully functioning early version of today's tiny house where it was better than a tent and better than packing up a series of pack horses. It gave the protection for the sheep herder and a much more comfortable life. At first glance this may remind you of the Oregon Trail wagons but the difference is this is a much heavier wagon and it was only designed to be pulled short distances at a time the Oregon Trail Wagons had to withstand over 2,000 miles of travel and so they didn't wear out the ox teams. They needed to be as light as possible. This vehicle has a fully contained living space complete with cooking facility, sleeping facility, everything the sheep herder would need. The only thing this vehicle does not contain is a bathroom facility because the sheep herder would have used the traditional prairie bathroom facility which was wherever he wanted to go. As America grew and pushed west via the Oregon Trail, more and more people came to live in the west. Some who started on the Oregon Trail ended up stopping in Wyoming and Montana. They didn't come all the way to Oregon. That started to develop the grazing land in the great Midwest which led to huge sheep ranches, which made the, uh, the need for this kind of vehicle made it really necessary. The riskiest part of the sheep herder's life actually was more from battles with the cattle ranchers who saw the sheep ranchers as someone who was trying to take over their territory. The risk to, that the cattle ranchers saw was that sheep the way they graze was they would pull the grass out of the ground, which destroyed the grassland. Cattle would just graze down to the ground, making it a renewable resource. This, these conflicts escalated to the point that there were cattle sheep wars. And in the 50 years between 1870 and 1920, there were at least 54 murders and between 50,000 and 100,000 sheep that were slaughtered. The sheep herder lifestyle exists still today and there are wagons like this that are still in use by sheep herders and it was definitely the forerunner of today's RV. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to learn more, please subscribe to our channel or go to our website.